Hey, I'm Kate Word and welcome again to my channel here at Kate Word Art. You'll see that I love mixed media, texture, hard edges, geometry, collage, painting and layers, making my own papers with my jelly plate, and today I'm print making on my new 16 by 20 jelly plate. So, stay tuned. And here are a few that I forgot. <laughs> I forgot about in another stack. Um, this is another one that I really like, except for the misregistration. Um, I like the warm underneath working and with the darker contrast and um, working up to the light. And you can also see a little patterning in that parchment color, the off-white color. Um, I did that. I just I just like lettering and I like patterning in my work. So that's the first one. And here's another one that I forgot to show you. I'm experimenting with some different shapes. You'll recognize this one from the a piece that I added to the Fulton print. That's the same stencil. I just have it turned a little bit different. And I like that one. I like the contrast. I don't know if I, I may just leave that one up the way it is. This one is uh, very, very bright and very colorful. And I think it has a real ethnic feel to it. I'm not real sure if I'm finished with it or not. Um, it might need some black and white um, collage, maybe. And we'll see. And this is my favorite. This is my favorite. It combines uh, my, my artist friend, Judy Woods, from New Zealand. It, this is one of her, her stencils, which I really like because they're large. And I, what I do is I cut them apart and then I have incorporated my own stencils and shapes on this print. So that's that. Got to sh I got to show you. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to put some paint on that plate. And uh, I have a plastic tub over here soaking my <laughs> soaking my brayers because uh, I'm watching Fulton clean his brayers and I'm thinking uh oh I need to I need to clean mine too and what I have them in is a it's soapy water but I've got uh, oh, shoot my brain is foggy today. I don't know what it is. What is that um, wood soap that Mur it starts with an M? I can't. I just can't remember it. Murphy's? No, I don't know. Anyway, that's what's in there. I'll I'll get that for you. And so let's let's have some fun. That's what I want to do today. Is I just want to push some paint around and have some fun. Um, so, what I decided to do is to put some, oops, <laughs> turquoise on my glasses. I ordered some uh, of this Blick uh, acrylic. I see that, that Fulton has some really good results from it, so I'm going to try it. And I guess I need to shake it up. But I'm going to use turquoise and phthalo blue and raw sienna, which is really close in color to my yellow ochre, uh, this tube of yellow ochre that I have from Amsterdam. It's very close. Uh, this is a, a heavier body from Amsterdam. This, this is more fluid and ha it has uh, extenders in it. So it's, it's the Blick. I 
I'm going to try not to get too much paint on this, <laughs> on this plate. And I'm just going to, just going to play. So here we go. That's a transparent for sure. So, how's y'all's week been? I hope it's been good. Mine's been interesting, but good. not real restful. I haven't been sleeping very well, so. Oh well. that raw sienna that's a that's a good color I like that And this is a, a print that uh, I didn't show you because I knew I was going to work on it. But this is what I'm going to put on top of what I just put on the plate. Let's just see how it works. I know for sure that um, it's probably going to misregister because my, uh, my plate is still set up for matching up with Fulton's print that I was working on. If y'all haven't seen that, go look at number five, the video number five that I posted yesterday. And you'll see that Fulton and I did a, a collaboration. He sent me a print and suggested that we do an experiment. And so I did. So all of you who have jumped over you hopped over and you've subscribed to my channel uh, after Fulton promoted me. I really appreciate that. Thank you. To all my new subscribers and all of you who are commenting on everything. It's really encouraging. Okay, we're going to let this sit for a few minutes. It's been a few minutes, not quite five minutes, but let's see what we have. I think I'll pull it from this way. Oh, 
Oops. I got paint all over my plastic and it transferred to my paper. Oh well. Oh well. I see I got turquoise paint on the edge right there. But what I, I really like, I don't know if you can see, um, the linear, the comb, where I use the comb. So the colors from the print underneath come through. And I have an idea what I'm going to do with these prints, especially because of the misregistration. I'm going to put this over here to dry, but um, I have some, I bought some 16 by 20 cradles, uh, and I think I'm going to, I'm going to mount them on the cradle board. So, which means cutting the, the paper around them, um, that just means I'll have some templates. Let's see. Okay, I wonder if I can retrieve this. Let me wipe this down and make sure that I don't have any wet paint anywhere. I should have done that before. See, there's always something to learn. Oh well. So, I don't think that's dry. I'm gonna let that dry for just a tad. Then I'll put some paint on there. And I'm going to be using some Naples Yellow Light. Um, maybe, uh, maybe I need to use some uh, metallic. That might be nice. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll use this in the middle over the raw sienna, and I'll use the the copper and gold on those blues. See, I did what I told you not to do. I thought I was learning better than that. Okay. I'll just put that in the water. And it'll come loose. Okay. And I have some other brayers here. There. We'll use that one and that one. Okay.
that. Oh well. I'm going to try these and see what happens. I cut these out of some cardstock. Do that. Okay. And this is another print that didn't really work very well, but it, it has a, a good foundation for pulling this ghost print for me. See, y'all, I don't ever throw anything away. If something doesn't work, I just leave it and come back to it. And the other thing, too, is like if your paper tears, either use collage over it if you can repair it with collage, or let it dry and uh, use it for collage material. If you're a mixed media artist, you, you've got a really nice piece of paper for uh, collage material. Okay, we're going to let this sit for about five minutes because I want it to pull up what's underneath. Okay, let's see. It hasn't been quite five minutes, but let's see what we have here. Looks like it transferred really well. I really like those pieces that I added. That's really neat. And look at that plaster peeling texture uh, from that dark print underneath. Wow. And the, and the ghost print, that turquoise and phthalo blue, and that raw sienna that looks like my yellow ochre that I like. I like that. That's neat. Okay, good. Put it over here to dry.
these are probably a one-time use but we'll see um, maybe I can flip them over and get another application of paint on the back side and Ooh, I like that talk about collage pieces that's that's neat look at that I'll bring it close so you can see it Well, I think I'll keep going with um, some different colors. This this calls for a dark uh, color, so um, so that I can pick up that light little selvage from these pieces. Okay, I might use a, a mid-tone and then I'll put down some more of those. This is my yellow ochre. I could put down too much. It's a heavier body, so I definitely did put too much. I'll have to come down a little bit. Spread it out. Just kind of place this wonky and uh, don't you like that word wonky I grew up with my mother saying words like wonker jaw <laughs> caddy wampus things like that okay let's see Let's try this one. Now I'm going to um, add some paint over the top of these two stencils. This is another one that I cut. Let's see. Just cut 
this one in half too. Since I need it in two places. These are, again, these are pieces, not this one, this is a mylar, but these are like bristle paper that I drew on, I drew my shapes on the back and then I cut them with a scissor and sometimes I used an X-Acto knife, but for the most part I use scissors. Okay, now we're gonna, I wish I'd stop doing that. Okay. Now to decide for the colors on the bottom, and I think I'm going to use a turquoise and some vermilion. That's what I'm going to use. Thank y'all for sticking with me. I promise to speed this up when I post it. <laughs> okay, now. Mm, this paint is thinner than what I'm used to. I'll have to learn how to use it, that's for sure. Because I can, I can see that it's probably going to go under my stencils. So I'm not going to have a, a, a clean edge like I would like with the stencil. I think I'm expecting some bleeding, that's, you know, but that's okay. It's just exploring. I'm, in, I'm exploring. <laughs> That's what my daughter would say. Okay, I think I'm going to go over this real quickly. Um, and then add the vermilion. For me, for my taste, the the uh, the Blick paint is a little more, or at least the colors that I've chosen, is a little more transparent. I, I think I was expecting it to be more opaque, but that's okay. Okay. So now we're going to take these up. No, I'm not going to take them up. I'm going to take that one up. Let's see. Yeah, I'll take it up. I don't want things sticking. I have to remember what order you laid these down because 
they uh, they overlap one another and it's kind of hard to take them off. Let's see, where's my little... There it is. Okay. Now I'm going to use um, this print, which was sort of a, I just didn't like it the way it turned out, but we'll see how this works. This is interesting because I don't have tick marks on these pieces of paper. <laughs> uh oh. Oh well. I guess I got brave and <laughs> thought I could eyeball it. Y'all ever do things like that? So I'm discovering that learning is certainly a process, but I can only do it by practicing and, and painting and um, discovering. You know what I mean? It's, it can only be achieved by doing. We've all heard all of those mantras and slogans by Picasso and various artists who have down through the ages taught us about the practice of making something, the art of making something, and the practice of making art. And I think I mentioned in another video that <clears throat> my husband took a scripture and it helped him learn I think it was Hebrews 514 those of you who study the Bible can look that up but his slogan was if you practice what you practice becomes your practice so not only is it if, because that's conditional, but I changed it to say as you practice. What you practice becomes your practice. So as I'm uh, doing this, I'm, I'm learning. Just like in life, it's all an experiment, right? It's all exploration. It's, it's an adventure an adventure and some of us are in adventures and seasons that we never expected and uh, we're, we're all still learning we're all still walking in, on this journey so have courage I'm, I'm working on my courage and my boldness some days are better than others Yesterday was not such a good day, but I have a new day today. It's a new day today. Okay, I don't know how long it's been, but let's try it. I'm excited to pull this print. Let's see what's what's under there. Misregistration for sure. Well, 
that's kind of neat. All those different uh, stencils and the layering on top of that other print that had a lot of texture on it. I'm going to slowly come up and see if you can see that. That is the stencil and uh, this right here. Let's see, I'll turn it around. That mid part, you can just faintly see the white outlines of the previous pieces that I laid down. Anyway, it's fun.